Yeah, this was a pretty sad story for her to share today. This woman tells me that she is not surprised at all by these new charges. She says she always suspected something deeper was going on, saying her concerns and questions about her mother's care were never taken seriously. Now she wants those responsible held accountable. She also had cellulitis that wasn't treated, which is extremely serious because you can die from that. If I hadn't step in, stepped in along with my friend, she would have never made it. Renee Karras says her mom was a long-term dementia patient at Heritage Village Assisted Living Facility in Mesa. That facility was taken over by the court earlier this year after state prosecutors claimed the facility owners and other executives engaged in elder abuse and consumer fraud. They neglected her, they neglected meds, they neglected a lot of things. Like Today, Attorney General Chris Mays adding a charge to that case, racketeering. She's accusing the owners of diverting nearly $3 million from patient care to pay down their debt on two other properties. Now, the AG is asking the court to seize control of those two facilities, the Visions Assisted Living in Mesa and Apache Junction. I've never even heard of racketeering for a... For a a, a, a assistant living facility. Kara says her mom, Carol, who was 84, was severely mistreated by the facility. While she was under their care, she says her mom was not given her medication and was not monitored when she had dementia episodes. The new charges, she says, are not surprising. Um, the people that work at those facilities aren't there for the money. They don't make money. The people above them, which I believe is who did this, they're the ones that profit off of this. You know, sometimes, you know, it's also really big investors and they also try to hide behind the curtains with, you know, some of who actually owns these facilities and who manages them. Dana Kennedy works for AARP. You know, this is really unprecedented and I can't remember like the state actually coming in and taking receivership of one facility. I mean, we know that with that happened earlier. But now we have, you know, because of that, um, they're now taking receivership at two additional facilities. She is hoping that this case serves as a wake up call that elders need and deserve better care. There was innocent people involved in this. This is people's like um, their well-being and we all get old. In the suit, the AG is looking to remove the owners from controlling Heritage Village or any other assisted living facility in Arizona. She's also asking for restitution for the facility's residents and for their families. Reporting in the studio tonight, I'm Sarah Robinson for Arizona's Family.